So this is the door to my craft room, my domain. So it is an incredible mess right now. Hi everybody, it's Wayward Gypsy. I thought I would take you guys through the current state of the craft room and get into the cleaning and organizing. So first view, we will open the door. I have my windows all open open door. I think there might actually already be a dog in here. So there we go. You walk in. I just have this wall behind this wall. Is, hi, Wessie. Behind this wall is my closet. I had a friend make this sign for me. It made me giggle so hard. Go smudge yourself. Anyway, you walk in. I have my desk over here in front of this window. Um, this is a pile of stuff that is mostly going to be going away or being mounted on the wall like these up here or like shadow box frame, shelf things, sweatshirt. A lot of this stuff is display stuff for an organization that I'm never going to be doing big events for again. And I don't need that much display stuff for that. But here's my desk with my beautiful, beautiful Sparkle Queen Creations canvas going. I have my computer, my little filming arm. I have a bunch of my resin crafting stuff back here on two carts. This is a printer that is currently just completely piled with stuff. So this cabinet here, the top half, is origami owl jewelry stuff. Once again, I'm not gonna be doing big events, so I'm not gonna need that much storage. Right now it's just kind of packed full of origami owl jewelry which is kind of ridiculous that I have this much of it, but there it is. And then from there down, I have a couple drawers of general office stuff, and then I have jewelry making supplies, tools and stuff. Over here is a bunch of stuff that I don't really need or stuff that's not really organized up here is resin stuff. These boxes are resin things and those are cork backings for coasters. Um, I have a bunch of mailing and shipping stuff over here from whenever I was doing the origami owl thing more seriously. Um, I'm going to be getting rid of that, moving a lot of that on. This is just miscellaneous stuff. This is a diamond painting I'm working on. It's a, it is a big one. It's the one that I mentioned that I, I don't love the canvas, but I'm going to finish it because it's for my husband. Um, this current shelf is, well, from here down is just storage. From here up is needlework stuff and my downy unstoppables from my diamond painting stuff. Diamond painting stuff, books, cricket stuff. My, uh, my little bitty cricket, my joy, is out in the dining room right now. That is a box of finished resin stuff that I, 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 don't, I don't know what I'm doing with it. Uh, over here, kind of tucked back in the corner, is some of my diamond painting stash. That's diamond painting stash. There's more diamond painting stash down there. I need to organize. But, um, also over here, my beautiful window into my backyard. I love that I have two windows here. Uh, this is all my yarn stuff and spinning stuff. So these are boxes of roving up here with my drop spindles. And then I have a bunch of yarn, some of our kits, some of its tools, some of its just general stuff. I have some white canvas parasols. I paint those. Um, I have done a few for friends and I got a really good sale and they're great in the summer for blocking sun. Pile of random crap. Um, I have a lot of those around here. Pile of random crap. Actually, a lot of this is finished diamond paintings back there. A lot of finished diamond paintings. Uh, the closet, my husband built these amazing shelves for me to make use of the space. All of my Christmas stuff is up on this top shelf, Christmas crafty stuff. Uh, I think, whoa, I'm tripping over stuff. See, it's crazy in here. There's some canvases, general crafting stuff on the shelves going down from there. And then I have a bunch of paper crafting supplies. So this is my drawing cart. I have a painting cart tucked in back there that you can't really see because it's dark. Um, papers, paper kits, albums, ink, pens, pencils, paints, blah, blah, blah. 
I actually did try to get a little bit organized. You can see my, my labels on here for my paper crafting stuff. I got started and all of that is different paper crafting stuff, stamps, etc. And then that is my big shot and all of my dies. Uh, oh, that needs to go to a friend of mine. Anyway, so looking back this way, we have the entry hallway and the door that we initially came in at. I have an extra chair in here all the time because my mom will periodically come over and craft with me. I have a folding table right now. It's out there because we had Easter dinner on it yesterday. But this is the state of the craft room. This is probably one of my favorite diamond paintings I've done. I don't even remember where I got it, but I love her. She's so pretty. Anyway, uh, I figured I would take you guys along with me as I whip this place into shape. I am sorry you have to see it in its current state, but hopefully you will have fun joining me on this journey. It's Wayward Gypsy just showing you guys the wrap up. It's not 100%, but it is so much better. So you walk in and now instead of giant piles of crap over there, you see organization. I can actually get at my shelves. Okay, so see I got some art up on the top, all of my create stuff. So now this is all diamond painting stuff. These are works in progress. Those are works in progress. And then I have my one going on my desk and these are about to be sealed with Mod Podge. Um, I moved all of my stash aside from the ones in boxes over here. These are fine to stay in boxes. They'll be fine in the box. But all of my uh, double-sided adhesive and stuff, the larger ones are up here along with their diamonds to keep them flat. And then in this cabinet, I have my slightly smaller, usually 30 by 40, and then my even smaller ones and my special projects. Then I have the extra AB drills and special drills and rhinestones and a couple little bitty canvases. Then this is the round drill storage, the square drill storage. And this is all of the tools and kits and stuff. I need to unkit a bunch of these and put them where they go. So that's been taken care of. Um, that's still office supplies, jewelry supplies. I moved my Cricut cart over here. Uh, turns out the casters on this end had broken. 
so I need to find new casters. Um, this cart is decent from Michael's. It's the one that it's metal and it rolls and it's got this little arm that goes up for a table. But these casters are plastic. So if you put, I mean, even the amount of weight that's currently on there, which is not much, broke the casters at this end, which is kind of crazy. I think it's because whenever this lifts up, if you put anything on it, it, it shifts the weight in such a way that it doesn't doesn't hold it well. But I moved my blanks for cricketing stuff over here. I moved all of my nail stuff down here. Um, I do my nails in here as well, so I like to keep my nail stuff. I have tools and, and art nail art stuff. And then back over here, this I'm actually pretty proud of how it looks, is all of my gels and then all of my actual lacquers. So that's pretty nice. Um, I actually expanded my cross stitch stuff to be most of this shelf. I've got my um, project bags down here. These are kits. All of the stuff in these boxes are kits. These are hoops and tools and that is all thread. I've got some books here and then that's all canvas, not canvas, Ada and uh, linen up there. Um, so this thing was up over here, but I needed that flat space. So it just got moved over there. Um, it's mostly scrapbooking, like things that need to be scrapbooked. Uh, expanded my resin mold area to be three shelves instead of just two. Uh, this didn't change a whole lot really, aside from getting rid of all of the excess diamond paintings that were just thrown in there. So I've actually only got two works in progress here. And this is actually a custom that did not come out well. So I'm just going to harvest these diamonds and, and use them elsewhere. I have my pens set up here. Aren't they party? That way they can be inspirational. Uh, yarn section. So this is a project that I'm going to be working on on this uh, knitting machine. And I don't have room in my bins for it. Um, I moved my blocking cubes up there so that they are out of the way. I really didn't do a whole lot in here aside from moving all of the painting stuff that was piled in front of this into there. It's, it's blocking my access to some things, but they're not things that I need access to right away. Uh, this is a project that I'm working on for a friend. Um, so, I mean, it looks a little bit better. At least I can get into my closet now. And so over here, this is stuff I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with yet. Uh, it is my shipping and packaging stuff. And this light is uh, a broad spectrum, full spectrum light so that it helps with my seasonal affective disorder. So I have to keep it accessible, but I don't need it right now because there's enough sunlight. These are trash cans. Um, this is stuff that needs to actually get out of this room. And then I have all of these storage bins and baskets and, and boxes and stuff that I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with in my mom's chair currently. So that is the current state of the room. I can access my desk again. I can get to the window. I have an unboxing, unbagging to do. And there's my mocha. Pretty girl mocha. You want to say hi to everybody? She says, I like it when it's not as cluttered. Yeah, it's a pretty girl. And on that note, I am going to end this video. I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.